KRC fans, we're back with more Trigger King action. The 2023 Summer Series event number four. We move on to bracket two of sport mod competition. These trucks replicating early technology developments in the early 90s in the one-to-one scale monster truck timeline. We see a, a variety of different chassis and axle configurations in this class as we take a look at the qualifying highlights. Setting the tone, the only truck in the nine second bracket, Barefoot Racer, a variety of other trucks sprinkled in the low 10 seconds. So it should be exciting competition as we move on into round number one, 25 sport mod trucks in this bracket. So a big bracket setting off the, the bracket and competition action. Savage, Mike Buffka driving a, uh, a rented truck and Orange Thunder, Chris Blank, one of the veterans. Unfamiliarity may have played a part in that, but Orange Thunder Alcaro, taking the victory. Mission. In this class, we've got a variety of right. different chassis and axle Driver's setups. Ready? In Watch this case, we've got um, Aaron James in the ACRC Havoc in the far lane, and I believe it's a stock Axial SMT turn in the near lane, but Roadhog takes the victory. Number nine and 24 matchup, El Toro Loco Pink and Mortician John Wall. El Toro very solid in our first bracket and setting the tone well for the second bracket with a first round victory. Sorry, drivers ready? Taurus, Jeremy Mark, and Andy Salerno with Gravedigger 16. Oh, Salerno in problems. Taurus with a free ride around the track. We've seen these guys Drivers face ready. off a number of times recently in this class. Equalizer, Chris Parrish, and Fallout, driven by Chris Hackinson. They're neck and neck into the final corner. This is going to be exciting. Oh, problems for Hackinson as Equalizer takes the victory. Monster Patrol with Mike Bufka, his custom made chassis. He added sway bars this time out. We saw him recently. No sway bars. The truck a little shifty, but truck looking solid. As he's got Chris Blank and Orange Fury on his hip. Oh no! Chris gets it because he but missed the But Buffka missed the final ramp with Monster Patrol, handing the victory via time penalty to Orange Fury. Drivers ready? Watch the light. Salerno with the Skull Bandit. A little bit of a jump off the line on Pony Express in the far lane, but Pony battling back and chasing him down. And Pony takes the victory. <laughs> on the line now, these two actually faced off earlier, and now they face off again with their other trucks in this class. We saw Jester and Roadhog earlier this time, Mad Scientist and Chain Reaction. In this case, the win again goes to Iron Aaron Janes and Chain Reaction. Our final pair in round number one, Rotten Apple 2, the 11, against Buffalo Trimmer, the 22 qualifier. Mark, usually a Good qualifier way down in the bracket with Buffalo Trimmer. A brand new truck, but looking solid in round number one, the truck moves on. <laughs> round number two. This will be the first time we've seen the fast qualifier Barefoot Racer facing off against Roadhog, the 17. Roadhog off to a fast start, but Barefoot with a tight corner. Oh, Barefoot's in trouble. Now Roadhog's in trouble. Everybody's having trouble, but Barefoot gets to the line first. Aaron, Aaron decided to take the, uh, like, All right. 
On the line, it's El Toro Pinkalicious, Chris Hackinson, and Orange Thunder, Chris Blank. Orange Thunder, a clod based truck, whereas El Toro is a shafty based SMT based truck, and the shafty truck takes the victory. Drivers ready. On the line, Watch Taurus the and Black Pearl. Black Pearl, a Losi LMT based truck, and Taurus, an SMT 10 based truck with a Havoc chassis. And showing that all different makes of truck can be competitive. That was a tight race, a great one down to the finish line as Taurus moves on. All right. Drivers ready? Equalizer and Brodozer on the line. Brodozer the number five. Equalizer only the 21 seed in this bracket. And it's tight coming to the finish line. Both trucks all out of shape. The race got a little bit ridiculous on the, on the top end of the track, but Equalizer will move to round number three. On the line. Xbox Bigfoot, Bob Chandler, and Orange Fury, Chris Blank. Two clodbuster based trucks with motor on axle design, both running ACRC Chaos chassis, and Xbox Bigfoot takes the battle of the clodbusters. Drivers ready? Yeah. Watch the light. Pony Express off to a quick lead, but Welker and Rotten Apple closes the gap. And now we'll spread the distance to the finish line, taking the victory and moving on. All right, drivers ready? Chandler back on the line with Bigfoot Destination and Aaron James Chain Reaction. Wild finish for Chandler as the truck hit a turn trimmer. marker and wheelied across the final ramp, but two wheels on one axle hitting right, the face ready. of the ramp, so it was a legal pass. Bigfoot 8 and Buffalo Tremor. Oh, and Bigfoot 8 duffs the entry to one of the obstacles, and Buffalo Tremor takes the easy victory. Okay, okay, yeah. Round number three of action, moving swiftly through Drivers this ready? giant bracket of sport mod trucks. Barefoot Racer and El Toro Loco. Fast Qualifier is in trouble as Pinkalicious El Toro. Oh, no. A penalty on El Toro on the final ramp, but also a penalty for Barefoot. And El Toro moves on just in the nick of time as he loses a wheel nut on the top end of the track after the finish line. This could be a dynamite race right on the line now. Equalizer and Taurus 2 ACRC Havoc chassis. Very similar designs. Neither particularly clean runs, but Equalizer moves on. Both trucks looking fast. Number two qualifier, Xbox Bigfoot. Number seven, Rotten Apple. Different approaches down the first straightaway. Xbox in command at the moment. And then a major failure for Xbox. Missing the final obstacle. Rotten Apple takes the win via penalty. Missing an obstacle altogether. Four second penalty. Missing with one tire is a two second penalty. So definitely can be a major infraction. Bob Chandler back to back races. He's in trouble in this one as well. Jeremy Mark in Tremor puts the number three qualifier on the trailer for the day. Like the apex it almost or whatever you call Semi-final it. round. El Toro Loco equalizer. Right. El Toro Driver's took ready. out the team truck to equalizer in the MDRC stable last round. Looking to do the same against Equalizer here, and he's off to a fast start. Looking good with a brand new truck. 
El Toro Loco moves to the final round. The rookie, Chris Hagginson, looking strong. Huh? Drivers ready? Yeah. Watch the light. Our other semifinal pair, Buffalo Trimmer and Rotten Apple. Neck and neck. Oh, wow. Oh. Everybody out of shape on that yes, one. It wasn't fine. pretty, but Rotten Apple falls into the finals. So that sets it up. This is it. The final showdown in the Sport Mod Bracket in event number four for the Trigger King Summer Series. El Toro Very Loco, great. the nine seed, and number seven, Rotten Watch Apple. El Toro looking solid all day. He had the lead. Oh, it got really close on the finish line. I thought it was going to be a blowout for a second and trouble for El Toro on the final straightaway. Closed the gap. Rotten Apple right there. TK replay. I think you see it right there as El Toro Loco manages to get the power down and fly past him at the finish line by half a wheel. So much momentum in the far lane. By two thirds of a wheel, El Toro Loco, Chris Hackinson takes his first bracket victory at Trigger King RC. Accumulating up the points through bracket one and bracket two of Sport Mod for the first time ever. El Toro Loco, Chris Hackinson, takes the overall victory for the day. And the points, wow, are they tight at the top. A three-way tie with 28 points as we move into the final two events of the season. It's guaranteed to be exciting. Join us next time on TKRC-TV.